Good morning. Today is Thursday, June 8th. The year is 2023. I'm sitting outside. It's a beautiful day. I'm back from a um, brief vacation to London, London, England. Um, I, I'm going to post some pictures and videos of that trip. The weather was nice the first two days, and the last day was kind of chilly. It was. I had never been there before, so it was quite interesting, I'll say. Um, it was what it was. I mean, it was a, it's a very big city. It reminded me of New York. Because uh, when I was sometimes in New York or New Orleans, or it was just a different vibe throughout the city. Um, I had a nice time, did a little shopping, um, hung out with uh, a, a friend of mine who lives there. Um, I thought that the entire city was different. I mean, when I say different, it's because they don't really have highways there. And well, they do have highways a little bit further out of the city. Um, we stayed in a very nice part of town, which was well, have a walkable neighborhood. You can walk around and do stuff. Um, to be able to walk and do some things over there. Some people were complaining about the food being bad, but most of the food I had was great, except for one breakfast. Now, if you know anything about me, I love breakfast. And I couldn't wait to try the breakfast out in the hotel. And I had an omelet and some pancakes and some other It was unedible. God, it was awful. Yeah, it wasn't all that great. <laughs> the pancakes, I don't know what kind of pancakes they had made, but um, their breakfast wasn't all that great. But some of the food that I had there was fairly decent and good. Um, I had no complaints. Um, we had a couple, we went to some nice restaurants. We went to this a hotel called The Shard. And we went up there to the top floor and the views of the city was down. I took a bunch of pictures there and video. Um, I had a nice time there in, um, I had a very wonderful, nice trip. It was a great getaway, I'll say that. Different people. One thing. One thing I did see. Gosh, it's not. Do, do black people get a break anywhere in around the world? I mean, gosh, the stadium we went to was um, in a. We went. I went to go see um, Beyonce in concert. The concert was great. I also had some videos. I'm gonna try to throw in there because you know YouTube might block them. So I don't know if I can put that in there or not. But anyway, the concert was great, and um. The stadium was located in a area, um, a black neighborhood or minority-based neighborhood. A lot of black. The first time I saw a lot of black folks. Most of the time, I saw was white folks over there. So when we get over there closer to the stadium, I saw a lot of black folks. And boy, that neighborhood was rough. A rough looking, I'll say for that matter. It was bad. It was like really bad, like bad, bad. But hey, you know. We got poverty all over the world in London, London, or wherever you there was no difference. There was no difference there. Um, um, walking through those neighborhoods, um, the neighborhood we stayed at, the average home price was ten million dollars. I was like, what? And a, a guy, oh, a young man who lived there, took us out and showed us around the city one day. And he was, you know, out the street with the stuff and selling for him, 10 million bucks. And then one of my friends, he started Googling stuff and this stuff. He was like, 8 million, 9 million, 10 million dollars. I was like, who's buying this outrageous stuff? And that stuff needed work, too. It not, it might, it might, exterior might have been needed work, but maybe the interiors look better. Most of them probably turned into hotels or flats or they were big, row townhouses. Massive town townhouse, townhouse, massive townhomes that have been sometimes converted into hotels or condominiums or I don't I can't think of the name of that area, but Kensington. That's where we stay at. Um, I enjoyed my the vacation there, riding the taxis and the Ubers to the city. I thought the city was. We went to the palace. Um, um, Buckingham Palace. I took pictures there. The, World Eye, um, just the carousel in the city. We crossed the London Bridge, London Bridge, um, Big Ben Clock. Just, I saw a lot of the stuff that, part of the Parliament House or something like that. 
you know, had some good food and most of the food I had was pretty decent. And we had some donuts that we bought, these expensive ass donuts that were really, I thought were tasty. Um, I don't know. Would I go back? Mm, maybe. It just depends if I'm going to an event or something. I'm going to an event, yeah, but just to go, just to, that's a tough one. I'm more of a, I like vacations, well, what is it, what this is, I like vacations where I get to relax. There was no relaxing over there, it was walking, catching cabs, catching Ubers, down in the subway, up an elevator, down an escalator, up a, it was just a lot of walking and work involved. I was like, damn, you thought I'd get you, I think I think must, lost, must have lost about 10 pounds with all them damn walking. Had to, I'm pretty sure I did, you know. So I don't know. It was um, I enjoyed it. Um, I thought that I had a great time. Would I go back? I'm no rush to get back there. Unless, like I said, I'm going to some type of event at some time. It's not really a place that I would want to vacation to white folks everywhere. Never seen so many white folks in my entire life. Ooh, ooh, there's a lot of white folks. There's a lot, 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 a lot of white people. A lot of white people. Everywhere, as far as I can see. So, I don't know. A lot of white folks. And they were friendly. I didn't run into any issues. I mean, I, most people were very friendly. I mean, you know, I keep, I'll keep this in mind because I'm a bodybuilder, sorta, and I'm out exercising. I went to the gym and work out. People are always intrigued by bodybuilders and they have 10 million questions. So people will come up and say and ask questions. No, there's no different over there. I mean, so I don't really, you know, I find as long as I smile at people and say, say hello and then they run over and immediately start asking questions. Where are you from? You know, they want to know. They want to know. They want to know where you're from, who you're with. Uh, you know, they, they have a million questions. They have a million questions. Um, So I don't know. Mm, would I go back? That's a good question. It has to be something really. Um, and then also, I wasn't there long enough to really see everything I wanted to see. I would have loved to have caught the train to Paris and gone there along the way. That would have been nice. Oh, here we go. Get out of here. Go. Stop on that market. That would have been nice to go to the Paris. That would have been nice. Mm, you gotta hear the dog is there. They're standing right here by my feet barking. At why are you barking? Uh -huh. That bird ain't bothering you. There's a little bird flying around here. And I guess she was barking at this bird. And this bird ain't thinking about the answers. Overall, it was a nice trip. It was a good vacation to get away. The weather was cool. Oh, the weather's really kind of cool today. I mean, last yesterday I'm kind of warmed up. Uh, some people were complaining about the weather being cool this time of the year. I don't care because it's showing, they're keeping these electric, these, 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 these bills low over here. Hell, shit. I need to look at my Georgia Power bill last month. I think it was like a hundred bucks for the first time last month. If I can get through the summer without having to turn that air conditioner on like this, oh boy. I wish it was some way I knew how to conserve more energy while using the air conditioner over here, but I just don't know if that's possible or not. Makes you wonder. Be nice. Show review it.
But anyway, I'm going to send just a bit short video. Um, I wanted to do a video about the young woman that was killed in Okla, o Ocala, Florida. She went to knock on a neighbor's door, and I thought, y'all, y'all get to stay away from these crazy white people. I'm not about to go knocking on nobody's door. I don't give a y'all listen. If a package gets left at this house for a neighbor's house, I will either stick it in their mailbox or go up there and leave it at their front door. I'm not knocking. <laughs> I, I, look, in some instances, I, if it's too big and heavy a package, I'm, I'll make some try to make some phone calls around to see who which package it is and can they come pick it up. Because there was a big ass package that was delivered here, and, and people make mistakes. There, they dropped this big ass package off my front door, and I went out there. What is this? And it was the wrong address. And actually, it was the right address, but it was the wrong. They had my address correct on there, but it was from one of my neighbors. So I called my neighbor next door and said, "Hey, do you know this person?" He said, "Oh yeah, that's a few doors now." And I tell him, "Do you have their number? Because there's a big package up here. They need to come get off my front porch because I'm not going to load this up in my car and drive it down for the ass." And I'm not that stupid. She called over there, and you know, I looked out there a few hours later, it was gone. And that's how that should have been handled. I'm not really going to knock it on my door, but I say that for the video. It's, we live in a different world, y'all. All this, we going to go through subtle things and stuff that my parents did back in the 70s and 80s. That's that's over with. That's, no. Everybody's got a gun. Everybody's crazy and violent these days. People are insane, insanity, all types of drugs and medications. Stay away. But I'm going to do a video about that because I really do think we all have to be very cautious about the world we live in and pay attention to people and their actions and some people you just need to avoid. I would have never went and knocked a man with crazy on this door. Ever. Ever, never, ever. I would have called 911 if there was a problem going on. Let the police handle it. That's what they did for. But anyway, I had a wonderful time in London. So I'm going to work. I got a couple of videos and pictures I'm going to post. So I'm back. Today is Thursday. It is June 8th. The year is 2023. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this delicious cup of coffee I have. And... Getting caught in the plan of my next vacation. I think I'm going to go to the beach after that vacation. I need a vacation after that vacation. It was so, but we did so much walking. Gosh, it was exhausting. So much walking. And elevators and escalators and subway trains. It was like, wow. It reminded me of going to New York, which is why I'm not really a big fan of visiting New York. Because you go to New York, you have to do so much work. So I'm not a fan of running around in New York either. New York requires too much work. And ain't no beaches in New York City. I can keep them. I'm not really an urban city vacation person. I like Miami because it has a beach. If there was no beach in Miami, I don't think I'd be going down there. When I hear people saying, we going to Houston and Chicago. I don't mind Chicago so much. But a lot of these urban cities, y'all can keep. I don't want to be bothered with these urban environments. Um, I do want to visit Dubai one day. That's what I, that's for my next trip. I really plot and plan it on is Dubai or maybe to South Africa. We'll see. That's the plan. So, so. But anyway, today is Thursday. It is June eighth. The year is two thousand twenty-two. We're gonna post some of the videos and clips from my trip to London, London, England. The whitest place on planet Earth. I've seen some of these white folks in my entire life. Ooh, boy, white folks everywhere. I guess that was to be expected. Anyway, I'm out of here. It's Thursday, June 8th, year 2023. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. I'll enjoy the rest of this beautiful Thursday.